we have mobilized the equipment and I think in another one or two weeks I'll be back here to launch two security roads in Baringo North and two security roads for Baringo South and we'll make that announcement uh, shortly. I also want to announce that next week I'll be announcing new administrative units in the affected areas including Baringo so that we can have the services of government closer to the people and therefore for all this region which is being affected by banditry we are going to make nationwide announcement but with a, a very clear focus also on the areas with security challenges like Baringo as we create and operationalize new sub-counties, new divisions, new locations, and new sub-locations. As requested by Senator Cheptumo, we will accept the request to establish Koriema and Sandai police posts uh, with immediate effect because of supporting what the agencies are doing here to improve the security in this area. I want to take this opportunity to give my pole for those whose relatives were hurt in yesterday's attack. And I have discussed with a member of parliament for Baringo North. He will be going to see them in the hospital on our behalf this afternoon uh, to take his pole. And uh, perhaps when I come back to Baringo next week, I should be able to visit Baringo North and we will be able also to visit some of the families that have been affected by this problem of bandits. At the moment, it is not possible for police and security officers to be in every home state to be able to secure every home state. And therefore, what you are seeing, the isolated attacks you are seeing are criminals who are trying to uh, attack and uh, knowing very well that our police officers cannot be everywhere. We have said going forward we don't want to hear of any livestock theft again. The agencies working here must find a way of preventing livestock theft.